Uh, part three of our signing day special here this, this afternoon. Uh, we're joined by freshman quarterback Camp Fay. Uh, we'll take questions in the chat, uh, just like we've done in the past uh, to get started. But uh, just want to thank Ham for taking the time to join us today. And we'll get started with questions here. Uh, just a moment. And we'll start first with Matt Wenzel with them live. Matt. Hey, Hamp, I'm just wondering how the uh, transition's been overall, <clears throat> excuse me, to being an early enrollee and kind of when it settled in that, you, that this is, you're now a college student, you're now working out and, and part of the college football team. Yeah, the uh, transition has been uh, extremely smooth. Um, the whole process of flying in and coming in to uh, just get settled in my dorm and meeting all the new guys and actually being in person, you know, not not over Zoom and stuff has, you know, just being with them has been amazing. Just like they've been all very supportive, all the coaches getting to know them. And uh, uh, it just makes me like really excited just to be with them and, um, you know, just being around them all the time. I mean, it's they made the transition really, really easy um, for me and my family and everybody else. How has the uh, strength and conditioning uh, taken place so far for you? It, it, you know, I know it's obviously an adjustment, but you know, what's that been like? Um, yeah, it's uh, actually hasn't been that hard of an adjustment for me um, going into it. Um, I was really excited and was expecting a lot, you know, to be busy and moving around and which it did lived up to my expectations. Um, I noticed that we were moving around a lot and uh, everybody was having a good time. Uh, I did feel sore, not not gonna lie, um, but I mean, that's part of it. And uh, just getting in shape and, um, you know, continuing every day. And it was, it was really good to um, getting used to that um, transition and getting used to that environment. Thanks, Sam. Our next question is from Zach Cernick with Impact Sports. Hey, Ham. So I just wanted to ask a little bit about how the transition has been going with learning from some of your new teammates in that quarterback room. You guys have a lot there with Anthony Russo coming in and Peyton Thorne and all of those guys in there. How are you learning and getting to know those guys? Yeah, we've all been uh, learning from each other, um, from you know all the quarterback meetings that we've been having. Um, we've been going up and meeting all together and uh, we've been going really fast um, with coach and how, you know, he's teaching us something new every day. And it's, it, it feels like a whole lot. I mean, we're, we're learning so much stuff. And then um, just like, you know, with all the other quarterbacks in the room, we're just all competing um, together and um, just kind of, it's just that, you know, it's no one talks about it, but like you just feel that tension um, in the quarterback room and, you know, trying to, you know, beat each other and, you know, just compete in general. Um, it's fun environment. Um, there's a lot of pressure, but, you know, you just got to stay calm, cool, and collective. And, you know, it's it's been fun to um, work with them. So. Thank you. Our next question is from Joe Dandron of the State News. Hey, yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, you know, coming from Texas, I mean, no matter who you are, you know, athlete, student, whatever, um, to college, I guess, is a big adjustment. Just kind of how has that been coming from, so, you know, being far away from your family and also adjusting to the football program, too, um, you know, as an early enrollee? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's definitely colder here, um, a lot more colder than I thought. I mean, obviously, it's just uh, I wear a couple more jackets than usual, um, but um, but yeah, just the first week um, we were, we had to quarantine, you know, just because traveling and whatnot. So um, I had a lot of time um, just being with other enrollees and just talking and, you know, mom is calling, you know, every day, every night. And so um, just checking up on me. Um, but yeah, I, I miss them. It kind of went through that little phase uh, and still talk to them. But, you know, I miss my dogs a lot more than I thought I would. Um, but besides that, I mean, we FaceTime each other all the time. And But, you know, going back to that transition, um, you know, all the coaches and all the all the staff, they made that um, transition, like, I mean, really easy, like super easy for me as far as, you know, 
any questions I had, you know, anything that I need that I needed to be done, they were there um, for me every every single bit of it. And um, I mean, it just made it, the whole process a lot easier because of them. And and Cameron Allen talked about this a little bit too. You know, um, you guys doing a little bit of work together, maybe in the off season, just kind of you know, how does that help you guys and your relationship kind of coming here together as early in Belize as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been working, uh, you know, just a little bit. Um, I mean, he lives a little bit farther away, but we were able to get together and uh, get some work and establish a early connection, which went off to a great start. Um, and that's pretty funny too. Um, with his high school and my high school, our head coaches know each other. And so we kind of ran a similar offense and had similar plays. And so I'll tell them, you know, I'll, I'll tell them a couple of plays and he's like, oh yeah, we, we, we ran that. I know what you're talking about. So um, we're, we're both uh, connected in that sense. And, you know, we know what we want from each other. And, uh, you know, if I, if I want to correct him or if he wants to correct me or, you know, I mean, we, we're really, you know, we communicate with that with each other and the, um, I'm just looking forward to, you know, keep doing that with them. Thanks, Abe. Our next question is from Chris Solar, the Detroit Free Press. Hey, I'm good to see you. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, I, I guess, you know, first, what kind of what kind of dogs do you have and what are their names? So I have two dogs. I have a uh, golden retriever. Um, and that's a girl. Her name's Nala. And she's probably, she actually just turned seven, like, last week. Um, and then I have a black lab puppy, Creed, we name him Creed, and he's only like a year and a half. So he's the wild one in the family. You get, your parents going to be able to bring him up to get him, get him running out in the snow a little bit. I would love that. I hope they do. <laughs> I wanted to, to, for you, what makes you a Mel Tucker or Jay Johnson quarterback? I think that's kind of, we know that the guys were here, uh, but you're the first guy to come in under them. What, what, do you think is the quality that you have that they they like most? I think just the competitive aspect um, that I hold. Um, I'm able to, like I demonstrated in high school that um, whatever circumstance it may be, with the, you know, with everything that we've been given, like there, there's no excuses to where we can't go out and win. I mean, if we got, you know, COVID or whatever it is, whatever it may be, um, the team, you know, the team looks to me um, just because I have that competitive aspect and just that, that drive to go win. And I think that's something that they're looking for. And uh, especially in the quarterback, because I know Coach Tucker wants, you know, the quarterback to be the most competitive guy on the field. Um, and so that's what I feel like they're looking for um, in me. And, you know, I want to go out and demonstrate. Our next question is from Lindsay Huddleston. Great. Chris really spoke to the question I was going to ask. You answered it very well, but I guess to follow up a little bit more, how do you get that across to your teammates, to your peers? It's one thing to be able to connect with Coach Johnson or Coach Tucker, of course, but how do you help get that across to teammates who aren't Cam uh, from your home state of Texas or anywhere, or anywhere else? Yeah, I think it's just taking advantage of every opportunity um, that's given to me, whether it's in the weight room, um, in meetings, just small little interactions. Um, I got to, you know, win each moment. I mean, as small as it is, I got to, you know, gain their confidence and their trust in me. Um, so, you know, I got to be able to do that and demonstrate, you know, every day um, in the off season throughout the summer leading up into the season. Great, I appreciate it. Our next question is from Audrey Dahlgren with WLNS. Hi, Hamp. Welcome to East Lansing. Um, what is the one thing that I guess has not been different, but similar, you know, because going through the recruiting process, it was obviously virtual. So you mentioned the snow is it's colder here than what you had anticipated. But what else about Michigan State is different or is what you expected? Well, I will say that the people are a lot nicer up here. I mean, I walk down, I walk down the sidewalk. And, you know, I, I won't even know the person. They say, hey, what's up? You know, just just really nice interactions. And it just catches me off guard because I'm like, oh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they stopping to, you know, say hi to me. And I mean, it's like everybody around here, you know, and, and it's, it's really cool. Uh, I mean, it feels like everybody here, you know, you know, if you're a part of the MCU, if you're not or whatever, I mean, it, it all feels like a family. Like, I mean, it, 
I mean, it, it really does feel that way. And uh, um, that it's really cool. I mean, just to stop and talk to anybody and to have a really nice friendly conversation. It can be a difficult decision to make, as you know, I'm sure you wavered back and forth quite a bit on where to go and who to play for, but what about the facilities to at Michigan State or the culture that Mel Tucker's trying to build and not entice you to come here, but you know, um, that could be hard over Zoom interviews to get a feel for what a program's like. Mm -hmm. It can be, um, but then, you know, just, just like within the interactions that you have just talking to people, you can get really nice idea of where they're coming from. Um, especially, you know, if you do the research, like the research of, you know, their past and what they've done in the past. And, you know, obviously, you know, talking to other players that have been coached by them and, to, you know, get opinions on them. And so I went through that and um, they, everybody had really good things to say about them. And, uh, you know, I did my research on them and there was something that, you know, sparked my interest and, uh, you know, throughout the whole entire recruiting process, it just led up to that decision. And I was like, yeah, I want to go play for Coach Tucker and that, the rest of the coaching staff. And then if I may ask, who were some of those people that you reached out to uh, to get a gauge for Coach Tucker or maybe Jay Johnson? Yeah, I mean, I talked to, I guess I talked to Rocky and a couple other quarterbacks a long time ago, um, but they were, you know, they were just from, like getting used to the coaching staff. Um, I mean, I talked to him probably around like the summer or like kind of the fallish, and just just trying to figure out like where they stand with that coaching staff. I mean, even with the small time that they had, I was just, you know, you kind of want to have that first, okay, what were your first impressions of the coaching staff? What do you think, you know, you got, where, how'd y'all start it off? And um, so just being able to talk to them and then also just, you know, in general going online and, you know, you can view, press conference that they had on YouTube, you know, just something simple like that and um, really see where they're coming from. And that's every, that's all that I did to see, you know, see that and really, really like maybe want to play for them. Thank you. Our next question is from Rico Cooney with Spartan Magazine. Hey, Hamp, welcome to Michigan. Hey, um, can you talk to me a little bit about uh, Cam and <clears throat> the relationship you have with him and maybe maybe some things that we don't know about him that will endear him to, uh, you know, his teammates and to the, to the Michigan state community. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Cam, I mean, so we're, we both work out together. We're, we're, we're part of the same like lifting group, you know, so to say we're at the same rack. So we spend a lot of time, you know, just motivating each other. Um, and even so like in the dorms, we we're just a couple of rooms away from each other. So we spend quite a lot of time, you know, outside of football, to, you know, just chatting in general. And, uh, you know, we make a lot of connections, you know, back at home to Texas. And a lot of the people up here will ask us, you know, like, what's Texas like? You know, what's all that stuff? We'll, you know, we'll talk about that. But, yeah, no, to, on the field, I mean, Cam, you know, he's a big body too. Um, you know, one thing I can tell that separates him is that, you know, he's extremely athletic. It's almost like he can also play receiver, you know, at the tight end spot. Um, he's a big body. And really, he has that quick twitch that, you know, a lot of big bodies usually kind of lack. Um, and just in general, I mean, catching the ball, I mean, he's got the soft, you know, soft hands. Um, but, I mean, in regards to that, like, he's just an overall athlete. And, I, you know, even on, like, even when we're working out, um, you know, he's not just doing it to do it, but he has, an, you know, an extreme drive to win and compete. And, you know, what you can see that in the way he interacts with the other, other players on the team. Okay, thank you. Our next question is from Jim Comperoni with Spartan Magazine. Hey, Hamp, great to see, great to see you. Um, hope you're doing all right, man. Hey, um, a lot of these recruits that are gonna be coming in and joining you in the summer and so forth, and the ones that are there mid-year, mid uh, they didn't have a chance to come in and meet, meet the staff or see the campus for obvious reasons. You did, you were able to visit in February, I think, before the lockdown, how thankful are you and were you that you had a chance to do that when everything else came to a standstill that you were able to see the campus and you knew where you were going, whereas other recruits across the country haven't had that? Yeah, I think it was, you know, as a blessing from God. I think, you know, with the whole COVID and the virtual thing, I mean, it is definitely unfortunate um, that a lot of players, you know, haven't been able to go on visits. 
and stuff because I mean I think that does play a really big part because I mean you you want to see what it feels like you know with how the people are you want to see the facilities and all that stuff um I was able to see that and you know some of the other commits and signees will ask me it's like hey what did you think of this or that and I can give them an honest opinion of saying hey man like it's facilities are unbelievable you know like it's everything you ever need um you know so I mean it it, it's pretty cool, you know, just talking to them and they're like, man, I can't wait. It's like, I'm itching to get up there. Uh, and, you know, a lot of them are like, man, I wish I could early enroll with y'all, you know, and they're all pretty excited and, you know, it's coming over the summer, but um, yeah, just, I mean, for the guys that haven't been able to visit, I'm, you know, I'm there for, you know, to, to help them try to get that feel as much as possible, with, you know, since they didn't go on a, go on a visit. And you were able to relay that to them even last summer and in the fall, I would imagine also. Yeah, so like if we were just talking on the phone or whatever and they were asking about this, like, you know, what's the training room like? What's the facility, what's the stadium, you know? Um, just in general, like, you know, I can try to give them the best, you know, okay. I can try to communicate that, you know, the best way as I can. All right, the indoor throwing that you guys have been doing, I think there's been a little bit of that. What's that been like? Has that been intense? Has that been, well, what, how would you describe that? Oh, I've been loving it. I mean, it's it's intense. It's fast moving. You know, Coach Johnson, he likes to do things with a high tempo because he likes to correlate all the stuff that, you know, he teaches and coaches on the like, you know, during a game. Um, so, I mean, we're moving fast and uh, you, you got to just think fast. You, you know, just, you got to think that way. You got to be like that on the field. And, uh, you know, we're working on our footwork and you know, we're working on everything footwork, um, you know, and just like the play concepts, if we're not even using the whole team like we'll do work on our footwork for like each plays and just going over plays and signals and talking about every little small detail so that um when we get out on the field it it just comes natural to us all right great thanks a lot appreciate it we have time for a couple more we'll go to stephen brooks with 24 7 sports hey Amp. um i wanted to ask you uh yeah you know, cam talked about a little bit ago like when his parents left after moving him in um it kind of felt real. I'm wondering for you, when did, you know, as a guy who was committed early and hadn't been here for coming up on a year now, you know, you've done a lot of talking about it. And I'm sure a lot of people have been talking to you about, you know, going to Michigan State, now you're here. Uh, just what was that moment like, or when was it, I guess, too, when it sort of sunk in, like, I am here now, like I'm starting my college career and, you know, it's it's sort of time to start, start over. When did that all sink in? Well, I think, you know, when they left uh, my dorm and, I, you know, my first night here, uh, obviously, but then I think it really kicked into me when I had to do my first, uh, you know, my first laundry little session because I mean, I had to, <laughs> I had to call mom and make sure I was doing everything correctly. So I think that kind of kind of hit me as far as you know, I got to do my laundry, you know, got to take care of my room, take the trash out, stuff like that, you know. So that's a new thing for you. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I had an <laughs> idea, you know, but you know, mom was always got to got to help somehow sure and also I got back on yours a little bit late I apologize if you already talked about this but just curious about transitioning to a college weight program and, and with coach Novak your impressions of him and what you guys have been up to there for I guess coming up on about a month now mm -hmm. yeah coach Novak he's awesome I mean he knows his stuff and I mean he's you know interacting with you know us in the weight room the whole entire time we're lifting and I mean he's going by every single player telling them what they need to do better, what they're doing. He's encouraging everybody. Um, he's a high tempo guy too, very high energy, um, along with every, all the assistants that are in there. And uh, it just kind of correlates to us. Like, okay, we need to start, we need to move fast, we need to go. You know, everything that I feel like has been, you know, whatever, if it's lifting weights, a meeting, talking in general, we're doing it as if we're in a game situation. So, you know, talking, I mean, everything's a game situation. And uh, yeah, coach, I mean, in the weight room, I mean, he, every, they all do a pretty good job of making it, you know, feel like we're in a game and, you know, we're, we're going out and, you know, competing. Got it. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Our final question about a Chris Solar, the Detroit Free Press. Before you got here, I mean, we, we talked so much about the the recruiting aspect of everything being virtual and, 
you know, over the years we've talked to, with guys that, you know, once they commit, there's a, the, the big text thread that a lot of guys will go on. Did you guys, I mean, it, 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 did you do anything video wise with the other commits to kind of get to know them? And was that, was that part of the, the, the last year or so? Are you talking about like with the other early enrollees? Yeah. Well, not just the early enrollees, but the other guys in your class that'll be coming later. I mean, do you guys have video calls? What kind of things do you, have you done to kind of build relationships with those guys? Yeah. I mean, we talk on the phone. I mean, all the time. I mean, every single day. Um, obviously, I mean, the early enrollees are here. We, we talk to each other um, in person, but for the guys that are back at home, you know, that have signed and are going to come over the summer or whenever, um, I mean, we FaceTime them. And we, we stay in touch all the, the whole, you know, every single day. And, you know, we, we show them what we're eating every single day because, uh, you know, they, they spoil us with the food after workouts. So they're always wanting to know how, you know, what we're eating. And, you know, we're like, oh, we got, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, something crazy, you know, I, you want to just typically get. So um, it's, been, it's been fun just to kind of show them, you know, kind of what it's all about. What was it like, though, finally getting to – to not just put the face to the face, but actually see them in person and shake their hand or whatever you could do under the protocols. Yeah. Well, when I first uh, met Ethan, um, six, seven, you know, almost over 300, I was, I had to tilt my head back. I was like, who are you? So, I mean, uh, you know, getting to see him in person, it's one thing to talk over the phone, but see him in person and see what they're all about, watch them work. Um, it's really cool. Um, it gets me excited, you know, for the season and the potential that we have. Um, you know, I, I, I told Cam the other day, you know, we were doing a little photo shoot thing. I was like, man, I wish we could just go play tomorrow. Like, I just, man, I just wanted to go play. And uh, everybody else felt that way. And just seeing each other in person, it's just more exciting. Um, it actually feels real, you know, after the, the whole, you know, long recruiting season. All right, looks like that's all the questions we have. Hamp, I really appreciate your time and get to know everybody today, and we'll see you soon at spring practice. Yeah, thank you all so much. Thanks, Hamp. Thanks, Hamp. Thank you. Welcome. Thanks, Thank you. Classes. Thanks, Ben. All right, thanks, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Ben. Thanks, Ben. Bye. Thanks, Ben.